Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Dori Suka, founder of Inspiration Management, and you're Meet the Experts host. We have a very special webinar here for you today. We are going to be discussing how to host very unique and profitable virtual events. And I have brought to you one of the most innovators for virtual events, Stephen Handysides, who will be sharing with you the latest and the greatest regarding virtual events. We have a very exciting program for you. First, I want to say a special welcome to all the people that are joining us from all over the world. My thing is not working, Tara. Um, and we have people, I was just reading right before I start how we have people literally from all over the world joining us. We also have a very special group with us today because we are actually in the middle of our mastermind meeting that we are hosting live and also virtually for all of our mastermind members. So we stopped that meeting so I can bring to you this great Meet the Expert episode. So in case this is your first time with us, the Meet the Expert episodes are designed to bring to you the latest and the most innovative business strategies to help you elevate your success. So I'm super excited that you're with us today. Again, welcome to everyone from all around the world. And uh, I want to say a special welcome to my Meet the Experts guest, Stephen Handysides. He is the founder of My Face, My Body, as well as the VUnite.com, which is the platform that we're going to be talking about today. Stephen is all the way in New Zealand, though he lives in the U.S. part of the time. He is actually in New Zealand right now, spending time with his family, which is very important. It's always nice to be able to have balance in your life and be with the family when it's needed to be. But today we are going to discuss a very important topic. And the reason I really wanted to do this webinar for you is because so many people are trying to do virtual events, but they're basically doing it like not so well. They're not getting the results that they could really be getting from it. So what we want to talk about today is how can you actually differentiate yourself from everyone else and be able to host events that are going to be unique, fun, easy, that's the key word here, easy and profitable. So welcome, Stephen. It's great to be with you again on Meet the Experts show. Thanks, Dory. Appreciate it. Nice, nice to be here. And uh, as as you said, I'm currently in Auckland, New Zealand at the moment. So a little bit different from being in Las Vegas the last uh, couple of years, but uh, I'm adjusting yes. <laughs> slightly. So, um, but hey, everything's everything's virtual right now. So um, you know, I could be anywhere, which is good. That's right. So we just finished the GBOS actually conference. That's uh, the reason really Stephen is here today, you guys, is because you know how everybody's doing things virtually now. Well, Stephen was doing things virtually before everyone else. He was actually the very first person to put on an aesthetic conference virtually. And he did that last year when no one else was doing that. That's the kind of visionary he is. And this year, again, we just completed actually the conference a couple of weeks ago and I had the pleasure to be part of the conference and a speaker and I actually helped Stephen put the entire business program together which went off tremendously as well as your clinical program. So if you want to check out the GVAS conference, you can go to myfacemybody.com and see all the great programs that we had in that. But that's not today's topic though. So let's talk a little bit, Stephen, about what we're actually going to cover and really why I decided and you decided to work together to bring this out to everybody. So the reason I always come up with programs is because people have challenges and normally you need to come up with solutions for those challenges. So what I kept seeing with the virtual events is that they were not unique. Everybody was just pulling their Zoom platform and basically doing an event. Well, how exciting is that? The other thing I found is that while they're doing that, it wasn't very engaging. They didn't know how to truly communicate with the guests to be able to produce results during the event. So that led to no monetization. And if you're going to host an event, you've got to monetize. You have to be able to generate revenue. 
And then the other thing is they were not really gaining new clients. So today we're actually going to address all these factors, all these challenges, and then provide you with solutions for them. So we're going to focus on five steps that you can take. And as I mentioned, they are really easy steps that you can take and be able to host virtual events and do it successfully. So uh, Steve, why don't we start by telling them a little bit about you and then we'll dive right into the content. You wanna give them a little overview? Sure, I'll give them a, a little overview. A simple guy from New Zealand. Uh, it can't be that long, right? You're not that um, simple. But... <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I've been working in the aesthetic industry for about 20 years in marketing and media. Um, lived in the, the UK for about 14 years where I started my business, um, Handy Media, which is the umbrella company to My Face, My Body and V Unite. Um, and then expanded um, our company into the US, Australia, and uh, China as well. Um, and really, in the last four or five years, uh, we've really focused on education and providing um, really good uh, technology solutions for practices and brands within the aesthetic sector. Um, but, you know, a lot of people have, have known us for our My Face, My Body Awards, which is coming up. Uh, very, very shortly that uh, you're helping me host um, in, in a few days, Dory, yes. uh, which is super exciting. I'm trying to decide uh, but, what to wear, Stephen. Oh, come on. You've got lots of frocks, I'm sure. So uh, you're going to show me up on the uh, awards night, I'm sure. <laughs> but it's, um again, our second year, we're actually doing our global awards uh, virtually. Uh, so in the past, you know, we did these pretty elaborate gala dinners and in uh, Beverly Hills, London, and Sydney. Uh, but uh, again, we sort of made the transition last, well, the last couple of years in running the very first um, Global Virtual Aesthetic Summit, which was called GVAS, as well as the awards um, global event virtually as well. So, so yeah, so basically the last uh, 12 months for us has been pretty, um, pretty crazy with uh, a lot of companies and clinics wanting virtual solutions um, and a lot of people that come to us will always say, hey, we just want to run an event, but we just don't want it to feel like a Zoom or a Microsoft team. So what you'll see through the presentation is just a touch of the creativity and animations my team are putting together um, for companies all over the world um, to really sort of make um, either trainings or your clinic uh, come alive, uh, be a lot more interactive uh, finding new ways of being a lot more engaging with your customers. So super excited to present uh, this opportunity. I know we've got um, a, a lot to go through with with Dory, but this you'll really, by the end of it, see how powerful something like this virtual clinic uh, can have for your business in, in lots of different ways as well. Yes, well, I'm glad that you are here with us and we do have a lot of information to go through. In case you're new with us and you don't know who I am, I'm the founder of Inspiration Management. I am an author and a global speaker. And our whole uh, purpose in life is to help you reach success the fastest way possible. So to learn more about me, you can go two places. You can either go to meettheexperts.com or inspirationmanagement.com. So I'm not going to do a big intro because we have a lot to go through. So uh, here's what we're going to discuss today. First is why should we do virtual events? Second is what platform is available for you to be able to do an event and make it exciting and easy and engaging? And then we're gonna go through that five steps to actually make sure that you do them successfully and then how do you get started? So uh, with that, let's dive right in, uh, Stephen, as to why should somebody have a virtual event. Now, I know when you and I first started talking about this uh, during the shutdown, actually, about how important it is for me to be able to provide our clients with a platform, especially our mastermind members and other clients, a platform to do events and totally separate themselves from the competition. So I'm super excited to show them this today and give them the opportunity to really differentiate themselves from the competition. So you want to start us off with why they should do this? Yeah, so uh, when we um, developed the virtual clinic, uh, we had a number of different 
uh, things in mind. Uh, events was was one of the key things where we saw um, a lot of uh, clinics that we know um, that have been running very successful um, in person uh, open evenings where they'll you know invite uh, their uh, database and their customers in to explore um, the services and treatments um, that they offer in the practice. They always do it over uh, cheese and wine or something like that, which is which is lots of fun. And um, they the clinic really gets an opportunity uh, to actually showcase what they've got um, in their med spa. So what we um, have put together on the virtual clinic was to set up like an educational room, um, something that was quite appealing. Um, it didn't feel like a Zoom, but it really enabled uh, you as a, as a med spa owner to be able to um, put together. And once you see it, it'll make a lot more sense, but you can schedule a number of educational workshops um, over a given time. So it could be every week, could be every month, um, but it really enables you to, to re-engage your existing database, get them to invite um, their friends and colleagues um, to these virtual events where you have the opportunity uh, to talk about and present um, what you're doing in the practice. Um, and it's worked extremely well um, for clinics that are using um, this software in really, um, ed one, educating, but secondly, most importantly, is to convert them uh, into booking a consultation and obviously um, having treatments. A couple of the, just the other points is um, a number of you will probably be doing um, virtual consults. Um, even when um, physical has sort of reopened slightly, um, a lot of med spas we know are still doing virtual consults because they see it as a very efficient way of still running their business. Um, so what we've got is we've got virtual consult rooms. Again, it does integrate with your current um, webinar software like Zoom or Microsoft Teams, WebEx to actually conduct it. But it really takes um, the patients and uh, your clients through a journey first um, to get to that virtual consult. And just lastly, um, again, everyone has a website that's out there. And, and I know it's really hard to differentiate your brand when everyone's got similar information on a website. Well, with this virtual clinic, it's just a new interactive way as well of engaging uh, with prospects, new prospects, as well as your customers. And again, you'll see um, with one of the examples I'll show you how the different animations move and it really pushes people to click on different things within the platform and interact and engage um, with your with your brand and your um, your service offering in a, in a different way. Mm -hmm. So what so, we're showing yeah. you right here on the slide is this is an example of what the entrance could look like. So somebody can log in and then they're going to see uh, a customizable entrance where they hit enter and be able to go in. And what he was talking about, you see the picture on top, you can actually put your platform on the actual website where people can also view whatever you have on that platform going on from your website so they can also reserve consultations and generate leads that way did you want me it's quite a fun... go ahead yeah it's quite a fun little way of um it's a little moving animation mm -hmm. uh which you can put on your home page which we all know it captures someone's attention mm -hmm. um so we thought we'd do that we had a lot of um feedback uh from clinics saying oh is there anything we can put on our homepage, which is really going to capture someone's attention. And mm -hmm. so that little moving icon is pretty cool. And with what Dory showed you, the front of the shop, um, you can customize those windows mm -hmm. um, in, as well. So um, just where the lady and, and um, uh, woman is, is you can actually customize um, those window frames. Uh, we are working with a couple of practices that have beautiful facilities. Um, so they've gone more for a, the actual physical photo of their building, mm -hmm. which they will have that as the starting point yeah. to their experience. So the whole idea here, you guys, is that instead of just getting a Zoom link and joining the Zoom link, they're actually going to come to a platform where it looks like it's totally customized. So you have the entrance, they walk in, then you have your reception area, 
and you have all kinds of different buttons on that platform. So you can go into treatment rooms, you can go into the consultation room, you can reserve an appointment. So it's totally interactive. He's gonna show you a real model here in just a second, but it's very important to be unique and different because it's all about differentiation. It's all about positioning. And when you are different, people are going to notice and they're gonna be coming to you rather than going to somebody else. So it's a great way for you to really outdo the competition and get a great virtual presence for you and your business. So it makes really a big difference. So if you're sitting in the reception area, here's an example of one. It gives you all kinds of opportunities to show like a welcome video when they first come in. So you can do a little video and put it on the screen right in the lobby. And then you can have them register to win or actually register when they first walk in. So all that can be done in your reception area, in your lobby area before they move on to the other rooms. So it's all very well planned and designed in a way to walk them through the virtual event effortlessly and in a fun and easy way. That's really the goal is to be different and to be effective. So it's really very, very well done and very cool. What do you want to add to that? Um, yes. Yeah, so the, the purpose of the waiting area, we know that um, a lot of med spas uh, have um, not been able to have their waiting rooms a lot of the time because they've had to concierge their uh, their clients from from the car straight into the treatment area. And the, and the waiting area was always that opportunity um, to... I suppose market cross sell, mm -hmm. um, expose your clients to uh, some of the other services that you might be offering, and and a lot of the powerful uh, ways of being able to do that was through having videos on the waiting room TV, having brochures uh, as well um, around um, the practice. So what we've done here is we have designed um, the waiting area in a similar way to what you've actually um, had in that physical uh, setting, where you can upload a number of uh, treatment brochures. It might be some of the vendors that uh, you're holding uh, that they can see a catalog um, as well as sort of the, the treatment pricing. Um, and then we've got the product shop. Um, so um, we have affiliates with um, product sh shops um, that if you don't have a product shop, we can uh, help you get that sorted. Everyone, it's so key. And I'm, I, I know with uh, Dory's group, a lot of you do have product shop, which is great. So what we do there, is we literally link uh, to your product shop uh, where it says view products. So that will just open up in a new window. It doesn't take them away from the virtual clinic, but it will open up a new window where again, you can cross sell into those, um, those products mm -hmm. that you've got on your shop. Yeah, very nice. So then they move into the consultation suite where they can actually sit down and do a consultation. Now there are different ways to do events, right? You can either choose to do the consultation during the event, which some people like to do, or during the event, if you're doing just a sales event, then what you're doing is you're basically selling during the event, different packages or do the event spa dollar idea that we usually teach. I'm going to show you in just a second, but those are opportunities for you to be able to generate revenue during the event. So it's either the consultation event or a sales event, depending on how you want to structure it. Um, Steve, do you want to pull up a new uh, a live shot to show it? And then that way we can show yeah, them sure. the treatment room. So once you go into the consultation room or if you want to take them first to the treatment room to see the different treatments that are going on or um, what yeah. treatments you're actually promoting, it makes a, a big difference. Uh, to get them engaged and get them to see the latest and the greatest thing that you have to offer. Yeah, great. So, I mean, as, as Dory said, with the treatment rooms, um, I'll just share my screen now. And then the platform also has an educational, while he's sharing the screen, it also has an educational component where you should always have an educational component to your event. So let's say we're talking about cool sculpting today. Then you can do a lecture on cool sculpting where you could have a video actually showing in the educational room. And then you have a call to action and an offer at the end 
to get them to purchase whatever it is that you're going to be educating them on. So it's truly an entire platform where your event guest will come into the reception area first, register, the whole flow that we usually teach in person can be done on this virtual platform. So they come in, they register, so you have all their information because we want new people to come to the event. That way you're collecting leads, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. And then once they register, you can also do a register to win if you want. So to get them excited about something that they can win and give away some prizes. And then you can take them to the treatment rooms and show the different treatment rooms that you want to highlight that's going on. Again, it's all done in a way that's really fun and engaging. And then you can take them to the lecture room and then you can end your thing either in a consultation or you can end it by presenting your offer for them to buy whatever you want them to buy at that time. So is he able to share the screen? So you've just got to stop sharing, Dory, and then I'll... Uh... Be able to take over. You so want to wait till the stop. end? Okay. So my team is like, oh no, stop sharing now. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> okay. We have a lot of things going on, Stephen. <laughs> All right. So let me just go through the rest here and then we can talk about it. Now, I want to give them a couple of uh, little tips on how to make an offer because we know the platform is amazing but i think where a lot of people drop the ball is the offers that they make and we have to start really with the offer when you're doing an event that's really the first thing you should plan is what is it that we want to offer what is the call to action going to be and then you're going to reverse engineer the process so you always want to find out what are some of the biggest pain points that you're trying to solve with your consumers? So if it's weight loss or losing your love handles or whatever, and it is cool sculpting, then that's great. So that's what your lecture should be about. That's what your entire theme of the event should be about. So you start with that. You need to solve their problem. And the better your solution is, the more sales you're going to be. And the more uh, urgent the offer is, the more sales, again, you're going to make. So it's very important to do that. And then you want to decide is what is it that you really want to sell them? Like, what are they buying from you, right? So when you present that offer and you create urgency that day, they need to buy it during the event. Don't leave the offer dangling. They need to buy it during the event. So you are generating the revenue at the same time you are hosting the event. So don't discount the irresistible offer. You've got to have a good irresistible offer for your um, event. Now, the other thing I really love about the platform is that you can pre-record all these videos. So really your event, all you're doing really at the event is answering questions through the chat box, right? because everything is pre-planned. And once it's done, it makes it so easy and effortless. So you can pre-record all your videos, your welcome video, your lecture video. Uh, if you wanna do some other announcements, you can do that. All pre-recorded, uploaded, and then you can just basically engage through the chat box to communicate with everyone. Am I on the right track, Stephen? Yep. Yeah, right. you're right. So there, there is a chat bot there um, that um, people would enter their name, enter their question, mm -hmm. um, and then you'd be able to answer any sort of direct questions. Yeah. So then the other thing is, um, I just want to share real quick, is how effective you can make your events. And I have to tell you, one of the most important things to have effective events is having the right people show up for the right type of event. So for example, if you're doing cool sculpting, you don't want to invite all the people that are not interested in cool sculpting. So how do you find out who's interested? Well, by segmenting your database, you need to send out a survey asking people about what they're interested in, what problems do they have, what concerns do they have, what would they like solutions for, their level of interest on different things. So when you, you can use SurveyMonkey for such an event, so you can do your survey. You can say, for example, weight loss, extremely interested, somewhat interested, not interested. 
uh, anti-aging treatments, extremely interested, not interested, or somewhat interested. So when you create that survey and you send it out, all of a sudden you have all these segmented people in your database. So what's nice about doing these virtual events, you guys, I want you to do one like once a month. It's just almost like a lunch and learn. Remember how we did lunch and learns on location? Well, now you can do your lunch and learns virtually. You'll be able to reach a much wider audience and you can generate forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 from each one of these virtual events. It's amazing. And that's really what I'm going to be teaching all of our mastermind members exactly how to do, how they can take this platform and turn it into a money making machine. Because our theme for this mastermind meeting is to 10 X your business. So I'm going to arm them with everything possible to be able to do that. And one of the ways is through virtual events. I have to tell you, they are here to stay. It is such a great way to reach a wider audience and be able to truly show them your voice, your message, how you can impact their life, how you can transform their lives. And if you segment your database and do the events by interest, you just increased your closing ratios like crazy because everyone is going to come to the subject that they're most interested in. So if I come to this event and I do my little lecture, I show you the solution to the problem, I give you a great offer, and I create urgency for you to take action that day, you're definitely going to 10x your business. So I really want you to take a look at this and see the difference it makes in your business. I'm so excited, Stephen. Can you tell? <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, you've you've already seen um, the successes of uh, when we did launch it, Dory. You know, in terms of how much uh, revenue med spas are, you know, are generating uh, from the virtual clinic, and and as I say, for events, it's it, it it's it's really turning marketing into dollars, isn't it? And and running through sort of virtual events, it's just lucky as well with the virtual clinic. It it is um, a, a great consultation tool which practices. Uh, are using um, every day in, in in their business right now uh, okay. in terms of being more efficient. So um, there's lots of really great benefits with it, but um, it's just really nice to be able to see um, med spas using it and actually really generating okay. uh, revenue from it. Um, because I, I found that working with med spas over the last 15 years myself, no matter which country, is that everyone always forgets about their existing clients you know we're they're all so interested in new prospects um and this is a great way to keep educating um but stimulating with our um physical with it with our database um to get them to come back um invite friends um you know to 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 you know um experience uh new treatments and uh obviously buy products Actually, I want to tell everybody the, the biggest objection usually, Stephen, and everybody who's live with us today or listening to this at a later date, the biggest uh, objection you get when you're doing the head-to-toe consultation like we teach it with the sacred system is the fact that sometimes they say an objection, I have to go and talk to my so-and-so. What I love about shifting to an online consultation is you could reserve it when the two decision maker or whoever they need to consult with is going to be right there with them online. And you're going to be able to increase your closing ratio tremendously because now they don't give you the excuse, I have to talk to somebody else. So you set it up in a way where both of them are present and you can share everything you want to share right there online. So you can increase your conversion rate. So there are so many benefits. It really is endless. So let me share with them this uh, spa dollar idea because I want them to be able to generate sales from it. And then you can go ahead and share uh, screens. So my last advice for you here is how do we generate sales during a virtual, virtual event? Well, the same way we teach how you generate sales in a real live event. So we teach the, the spa dollar idea where the evening or the day of the virtual event, all you are selling is gift cards. That's all you are doing, selling gift cards, gift cards, gift cards. And the gift card you're selling has a value on it. So let's say you sell a $5,000 gift card. 
then you tell them I'm going to give you 1000 for free, right? So you're going to give them $6,000 for $5,000. Well, if you do that type of promotion during your events, people are going to be spending money on gift cards like crazy. We have people that generate six figures all day long doing just this one strategy during a consultation, during a virtual event or a real in-person event. So you can use that strategy either way to generate six figures during your events. So you have to have a special offer. And if you create that urgency, as I mentioned earlier, where they are only valid during the events, then you're going to be able to have a lot of sales during the event. It makes such a huge difference. So I encourage you to try it. No. All right, you want to share your screen and show them? And then we'll continue. Okay. This is That's so exciting. Good. How do you guys like it? We have a live audience with us today. How do you like it? Great. Sounds good, doesn't it? Okay, you got to stop sharing. Stop sharing. You're so, you're so so generous, Dory. You're always sharing, you see, and I, you've got to stop sharing. I know. Dory. Stop sharing. <laughs> <laughs> I am so generous. Okay, here you go. Here we go. Okay. All right. Okay. Can everyone see Can you get rid of the that? bottom part? We all right, see that so now we get to see the, yes, we can see it, Stephen. Okay, great. So I'm just going to go into one example uh, here. Um, this lady with uh, uh, Todd Zona, uh, we've done um, one of these for one of the, uh, her practices, and we're just doing a, a, another one. She's got two practices and she wants to do something a little bit different. But as you can see, um, the animations do move, uh, which everyone loves um, in terms of being a bit more interactive. Um, so if I click on treatment brochure, so you can actually have like a gallery. It, it really comes out like a gallery and then you can you can expand it. Um, and then the watch the welcome video, it pops up and then she'll do a welcome to her practice. View products, as I say, it will just click through um, to your product shop that you've already got set up. And then this is the hallway. So what she's done uh, with her uh, practice is she's got two treatment rooms. Now, if you want to have multiple treatment rooms, um, it's a slightly different format where it will be more like an index, which people will scroll down and then they'll choose a treatment uh, room to enter. So what she's done is she's grouped it by um, sort of like indication, so body sculpting. Now, this is specific to body sculpting. So she's got another introductory video just talking about body sculpting solutions. She's got before and after photo galleries, uh, testimonials. Um, and then there's that direct uh, call to action, which is book a consultation. Now, what she's done is she's put together a lead generation form up to capture those details. So as you know, through what you've done probably on your website is making people go to areas where of the website that they're really interested in and then having that call to action, uh, which is clearly defined next to the information. So we can capture their details. They can can request a consultation. So they fill out their details below and then hit submit. Now inside um, the consultation room, uh, you can have uh, your certificates that uh, I know a lot of uh, people, um, uh, business owners, med spa owners, clinic owners, they have their certificates all over the walls. So you can do that if you've got uh, too many certificates, it would then show up in uh, a gallery type of format again. Um, now, if you are doing consults on a, on a regular basis, um, again, you can have a button on here which says um, uh, start consultation. Now, um, that would link, um, as I say, with Zoom or Microsoft Teams. You need an account on one of those, um, but they would enter this experience first before doing that. 
Uh, as I say, she's got a couple of different rooms, but if we go to her education room, the educational lounge, Story puts it. So this is her room. Now, she's just got one presentation. Um, so she had a start time and an end time. So there's a clock to this um, that um, it will only start, say, at five o'clock on Wednesday, the 2nd of December. Um, the video started. I'll just play just a tiny bit of it so you get the idea. So then she does her presentation again. It goes back to the book of consultation button. So you can see again, always that call to action uh, to get people to either book in for the consult or what Dory has talking, uh, spoken to you guys about is putting that voucher there. So we can we can change that uh, consultation button to um, purchase your voucher, your spa voucher now, and then it would go through into your payment portal. Uh, where they can purchase those spa vouchers. Um, so you can go straight to purchase there. Just to give you another, um, one more example, uh, this is um, a, a clinic that they run it specifically just for, for events. Um, so what they do, people can't access their virtual clinic until the date and time of the event going live. Uh, usually these events are about like an hour to two hours long if they want to get everyone to book in consultations within um, a very short window um, without you know um, giving them time to actually think about it and coming back now the, what they've done here is kept it very very simple um, they've got step one and this um, is a video that talks them through the process of what they can expect at the event checking in being in the chance to win watching uh, the presentation video and then booking in for a consult so this is a form uh, that they fill out to check in. And then what they've done is they've asked three or four different questions just to get a little bit of um, uh, customer sort of feedback and some research into what uh, their customers really, really want. So they fill that in. Um, you would get sent an email um, and then you would be able to know who registered. Um, they have to then go into step three, uh, which is... Again, now there are a couple of different room formats, um, templates for this. Hi but everyone, we are so excited to share with you today this amazing breakthrough technology called. So she talks about uh, technology um, from one of the device companies. That is the theme of her event uh, this month. And then when it goes into book a consultation, what they've done, and this is. Um, more on the advanced um, sort of package that we offer to clinics because you have to register with uh, Canonly with that. Um, it's, it's again, not a lot of money to register with Canonly, but what it does do is it enables um, those people at the event to go onto a calendar, uh, put in their details, um, and then uh, click on a date and a time that you have allocated. And then they will automatically get sent um, an email with confirmations of the consultation time with a Zoom link um, as well. So it integrates with Zoom. They get sent a Zoom link. The doctor or the um, med spa practitioner would also get a link uh, with that consultation time with that particular individual. So again, that just shows you just a different um, scenario of how they've done it and really geared it towards um, an educational event with a check-in process and then um, the ability to sort of schedule an appointment. Now, a number of you might already have booking systems in place. So therefore you would probably just have a lead generation form to capture the details. And then uh, one of your employees would, would give them a call to book them in for a time slot uh, for that. So yeah. uh, hopefully that um, gives everyone enough um, sort of information there, Dory, and a, and a bit of a demo of yeah, um, some of the exciting. visual components. Yeah, it looks great. Can you actually take us to the website now? So that way you can show the couple of different programs, how they can uh, join it and start using the virtual platform. Right. Okay. Um, let me just. So how this is going to work, you guys, for those of you who would like to start doing the virtual events using this platform, um, Stephen has created two different programs that you can join under. One that is um, 
gives you two treatment rooms. He'll show you all the different details here. You can customize your lobby, put in the welcome video, do your educational room, uh, plus your treatment rooms, your two treatment rooms. And that's one package. And then if those of you who would like to have uh, more of a customized or more treatment rooms, then there is another uh, program for that. And then there's going to be some people that are totally uh, wanting to do something totally customizable. And that's something that you can talk to Stephen about and he can help you out with. But the whole idea here is for you to have a way for you to earn money online right now. So God forbid if your city, like we just heard California is closing down some places and some cities are kind of concerned with some um, uprising. So what we want is have a place online that you can continually have revenue no matter what. It's the best insurance against business disruption. So this is a great way for you to do your online consultations, your way to keep your clients engaged, your way to keep generating revenue, to keep your team busy and doing things. And once you do that, you're going to have a much better uh, way to generate revenue during this pandemic that we're actually going through. And that's really why we're doing this uh, for everybody. But here are the two packages. You want to explain them, Stephen? So again, what we wanted to do was make it, uh, again, just extremely cost effective for everyone just to uh, start generating revenue from this. As I say, using it as, as an events tool uh, to be able to actually generate revenue from that. Um, but just even as a consultation tool and, a, and an extension to your website to be a lot more interactive um, has made a, a huge impact uh, for a lot of the med spas and clinics that have signed up. So what we've got is um, the $99 a month. Um, now, you can cancel at any time, so there's no commitment there. So uh, you don't have to. They're not um, going to want to do that. <laughs> well, <laughs> just <yeah. laughs> Go ahead. Well, we, we're that confident about it that, you know, yeah. you guys, you know, will want to keep extending it. And uh, what we've seen already with um, clients is that they start um, and then they just want to keep uh, adding different uh, rooms and different features onto it. So um, so what you've got is the $99 one it does really give you the ability to have um, a number of the rooms that I did show you um, with uh, the entrance, the educational room to run your training events. Those that want to uh, pre-schedule, uh, as Dory said, a number of uh, webinars um, each month, uh, but they want to, you know, to upload things that you might have done in the past or educational videos, um, you're looking at more of that Liberty package where it gives you the flexibility to schedule in um, multiple different uh, workshops and presentations. It gives you that chat bot as well so people can actually ask questions. Um, and then again, using a number of uh, different treatment rooms and consultation rooms, uh, et cetera. Um, some of the, the, the larger practices might actually uh, have a um, number of different consultants that they want to have uh, their own consultation rooms within. Um, now, if you do, you probably saw with the, the dermatologist lady, she actually had her um, avatar uh, inside the education room. I know um, a number of doctors also are wanting their um, avatars inside uh, their actual consultation room as well. So what we've done, the pricing you see here is just for uh, the members um, of Dory's group from Inspiration Management. Uh, so we've actually created a form uh, for you specifically um, with these pricings on it. Um, it's usually another sort of 50% um, higher than this. So, um, so what we wanted to do was just Give Dory's all of your um, members are, are a really good uh, offering for that, uh, and uh, we'll sort of keep that um, available for um, for a limited time, um, so you guys can really sort of take advantage of it and get yourself set up uh, for 2021, so you can really start uh, to generate some revenue. Uh, have I missed anything, Dory, or is that? Uh... Yeah, where would they go to sign up? What's the uh, link? So there is a, a link that you'll be sending out, uh, which again is a form like so. Um, you just fill out your details, uh, referred by, just put inspiration management. 
So um, you can and go to just, V, uh, excuse me, Stephen. So it's v-unite.com. That's the main site if you guys want to go there. And then there is a button that says virtual clinic or virtual events. And it takes you to this registration form or you can type in the whole URL. Um, if you want. I would I would just um, type in this address. This here. address. OK, um, so vunite.com slash virtual dash clinic dash register. That's right. Yep. So if you guys do that, that's just a specific page we've set up um, for inspiration management. And then you just well, we appreciate your- that, Stephen. Oh, no problems at all. Yep. No, we've, as I say, uh, what we've done is we've got the two different prices there, um, the reduced prices there for you guys. So you just choose whichever package, fill out your details, um, put your card details in, and then you hit subscribe. Uh, There is a small, as I say, um, setup uh, fee. Um, If you stick to our our templates um, and you can personalize those, if you do want, some custom sort of designs, uh, as I say, some other sort of custom types of functionality, uh, then there will be a higher setup cost and a higher monthly cost. But once we understand what you want, Mm -hmm. uh, we can sort of give feedback on that. Sounds good. Well, that's great. So um, we have some questions from the audience maybe that we can answer. Also, Stephen, let's say somebody signs up now. How long would it take before they can schedule their first event? Uh, it depends uh, how many people uh, have registered. We've, um, as I say, we <laughs> we did we did launch recently, and we've uh, we've had a quite a lot of interest. So, I would say you'd want to you want to give us fourteen days um, to be able to set you up. Um, what we have done with the platform is once we set you up, you get your own username and login, Mm -hmm. and then you can update things yourself. So you'll be able to turn around um, events very, very quickly. You'll be able to update um, your graphics, your videos, your images. Um, We've made it self-service, and that's the cool thing about it. Mm -hmm. What I didn't actually mention, which is probably one of the most um, unique things about it, is we'll help you get it all set up. We'll give you a little bit of training on the platform and then you can, as I say, update as much as you want. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Well, great. So they'll be ready for 2021 so they can 10x their business, right? Absolutely. Yep. New you, new year, new you. That's, That's right. all the promotions that generally kick off. So yeah. yeah, absolutely. All right. So we have a question. Someone's wondering their opinion if they're a smaller day spa. Would you recommend them sort of doing something else? Oh, absolutely. This will work for anybody. As a matter of fact, it's a great way to reach a wider audience, like I was mentioning earlier. And you can still talk about all the different treatments that you have in a day spa. Put it this way, the $99 a month, even if you just did the smallest package, the $99 a month that you are investing will make you so much more money doing virtual events so you can stay in front of your clients and be able to promote different things that you have going on for sure. And if this person is a member, I'm going to be personally showing all of our members how to host virtual events and do them in a way they're going to be super, super successful. I mean, that's my goal is for every one of our members to have this platform so I can show you how to truly <laughs> maximize its efforts because it's so nice, so unique, so much fun, so engaging. As a matter of fact, a couple of members have already signed up before we even did this event. And somebody in particular is doing their grand opening actually using the virtual platform. So it's going to be very exciting. It's a great way for you to generate revenue no matter what kind of business you have. And then we have another question. Can they use it to sell memberships? No, absolutely. I mean, this platform, again, if you do it right and you plan your entire year, that's really what I would like you to do. If you're making a commitment to join this platform, then what I would like for you to do is you create a calendar for the entire year. And then every single month, we would be doing some kind of an event 
with a specific topic. So one month it could be memberships. Another month it could be how to de-stress. Another month is how to stay uh, younger. Another month it could be weight loss. So you name it. You take your entire menu and you create all these little mini lectures and mini events. And before you know it, you have targeted your entire database based on what their interests are. It doesn't get better than this, you guys. It does not get easier than this. And that's why I'm so excited about it. And I really would love for everybody to do it because it's going to be a great way for you to reach your audience, keep them engaged, make it fun, and make money. That's really the bottom line to what you can do here with this. And then, Dory, Stephanie would like to know, how can she become a member of Inspiration Management as well as the VUnite platform? Well, that's easy. All you have to do is call us. <laughs> uh, actually, you should go to inspirationmanagement.com. There's a success planning session form that you can take. You fill it out. And then one of my team members will be able to sit down with you, find out where your business is right now and whether you are a good fit to really be a member. So that's important. We want it to be good for both of us. And then, of course, VUnite, you can go to that link that Stephen had, V-Unite, um, what was the whole thing? Uh, virtual clinic, and then I think register. How, how do you like that for a memory? <laughs> so V-Unite.com slash virtual dash clinic dash register. Yeah. Well, we are right on time, Stephen. Wow, look at that. So I just want to have a couple more announcements. Those of you who would like to be interviewed on Meet the Experts, we are taking applications right now. So you can go to meettheexperts.com and you can apply so you too can be an expert on our show and then we can help you uh, market that show. So if you'd like to go do that, we're doing that complimentary for the month of January. So go put your name in so we can uh, interview you and let you be part of the Meet the Experts show. Steven, it's always good to see you, you handsome guy, you. <laughs> My girls oh. in the audience are saying he's hot. <laughs> it oh, must yeah, they, they, they breed them well down in New Zealand, right? We're all... Uh... Everyone's mainly sheep farmer, and uh, with 20 million sheep, we'll look after and five million people. So, oh, so I need to I need goal. to come to New Zealand to find me a handsome dude. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime, Dory. Okay, I'm flying tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> on our on our private jet that we bought this morning, <laughs> and our yacht. We bought a jet and a yacht today. <laughs> All right. So um, those of you uh, who have further questions, feel free to contact. Actually, I had his contact information, but we didn't share the screen again. But that's okay. If you need to get in touch with Stephen. Stephen, can you give everybody your contact information, please? Yeah, it's Stephen with a PH at V slash unite u n i t e dot com. Wonderful. So uh, thank you again, and I want to encourage everybody to really give this uh, a try. It doesn't. It's like nothing to try it. So please try it. Let me and my team help you make it successful, so you can start generating the revenue that you deserve. So with that, again, thank you so much, Stephen, for being with us. Thank you all for joining us on Meet the Experts, and I look forward to bringing to you more experts to share their knowledge, their innovative thoughts, their insight, so to help you elevate your success. Thank you again, and we'll see you soon. Until next time, stay inspired. Bye, everyone. Bye, Stephen. See ya.